being on the playground when you were little and all of a sudden you heard either the school bell or the teacher go <laughs> and you all lined up you lined up to go back to class to study a little more well you know what really you were beginning to think about and respond to what it means to obey I just want to share a couple things about our vow of obedience. Our vow of obedience really began probably on the playground. We didn't promise that to God then, but I began practicing then because I was listening. I was listening to maybe the persons in authority, to the signals that were given to me. In my vow of obedience, I first of all have to be listening to my God, the person to whom I vowed my vow of obedience, and then my sisters. I have to listen to my sisters, for sometimes they are the better answers than me. And ultimately, sometimes it even has to be the superior. However, that's always done too, sort of like when you've had some good conversations with your own mom. You have a good conversation with people in authority related around any issue. So I would just like to encourage you to just be aware of all the voices in your life right now that you listen to that help you make good decisions. You will.